Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James and what's your forte? And today we're going to be installing the Dowler valve exhaust controller for my G80 M3. All right, so I got this valve controller from Keys Motorsports by way of Dowler. And a special shout out to Dowler, special shout out to Keys, special shout out to Euro Empire for letting me use their shop. All right, let's go ahead and get into the install. All right, so this is what the Dowler valve controller looks like right here. So it just comes in this box and this controls both exhaust valves. These are all the plugs right here. This is the actual controller that you'll get. Lock, the lock button is gonna close the exhaust, unlock is gonna open the exhaust. They give you some 3M tape. They give you this nice pin here, which you see right here. Some zip ties, 3M tape, and they also give you this nice piece right here, little keychain. So everything looks good, and all that comes with the exhaust controller module. So this should be a pretty, pretty simple install. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, everyone, so this is the valve controller. You'll have one of these on both sides. And what you'll need to do to get it off, there's this little tab right here on the bottom part of it. You kind of push that in and then pull down. And as you guys saw right there, it comes right out. So that's the little pin right there. Just kind of put your finger in there, push in on it, and then pull down. And then you get that right out. All right, so the next thing you want to have to do is we're actually going to mount the actual dollar unit right behind here to keep it safe from any splashes or anything, road debris or anything like that. So the actual... Um, to get back here, you'll see this little bolt right here. It is a 10 millimeter. You can just take that. And actually, I already kind of loosened it, so you can see I'm just finger getting that nut loose right there. Comes right off a little cap. It's like a 10 millimeter to get that off. And that will give you access to pull this down, get behind here, and mount the actual dowler unit back here. So now I'm coming back over to the dowler unit. We're going to attach the 3M tape on the back of this. So put the 3M tape right on the back of this, um, and then you'll be able to mount it inside that location I just showed you. All right, so what we're gonna do is, this plug is gonna go into the dowler unit, and then the dowler unit is gonna plug right into here. So if you guys wanna zoom in a little bit so you guys get a better picture there, but right here is our unit, and then the dowler unit is gonna plug into here, and then the bypass plug goes into there, so that's how it goes on the one side. Since we're gonna mount it on the other side, you'll have to run the cord. Um, there's an opening right here, as you guys can kind of see. You have to run the plugs right through here. And then there's a little opening right here that'll kind of get you halfway and then all the way around. Cause you don't want the plugs to get too hot against the exhaust melt. So you'll run it through this heat shield here. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna actually run the cord from the other side, plug in this side, all right? All right, so as you guys can see right here, these are the plugs that we got through. So this right here is gonna plug into the OEM unit. Plugs right in, push the little gray pan up. So for this one right here, as you guys can see, it just kind of goes right in there. And then you'll hear a click and you're good to go. So now the module's plugged in on this side. So now I'm gonna get it plugged in on the other side. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna mount the box. All right, everyone, so this is the actual box like I showed you before that I'm moving. So they actually, um, the dollar unit they, that they provided the 3M tape for, it's actually Velcro tape. So you just have to kind of get behind here a little bit. Um, and then you should be able to bend this down enough and then get the box mounted in here. And you actually have this right here that you can actually pull to the side to help you get it mounted in here as well. So let me go ahead and get that situated and then I'll be right back. All right, everyone, so the module is right behind here. So I kind of just tucked it up in here and pushed it up against this and kind of held it with both hands for about 30 seconds after I took the 3M tape off, the 3M protective layer off. Um, and it's mounted in here, and it's going to be in here secure. So now what I'm going to do is tidy things up with some zip ties. And once I get everything looking pretty, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, so as you can see right here, I got this zip tied. I zip tied these cores together. Then I'm running the slack over here. And then if we actually go over here, um, I got these zip tied together. And then I got the slack that is behind this zip tied together. And they're tucked behind this plastic right here where the module is as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put that 10 millimeter back in up top and everything is good to go. Super simple install. All right, everyone, so now that the valve controller is installed, let's get the car down, let's start it up, 
and then we'll actually show you how the actual controller works. So this is closed, and then this is all the way open. Yeah, it's way deeper. It's a lot deeper. So it is a lot deeper with it open. So again, this is the controller here. So this is locked, and then open. And then this is all. This is opening the valves all the way because the actual factory system doesn't open it all the way. All right, everyone, so we're going to give you some exhaust revs right now. The exhaust is actually closed. All right, you can go ahead. All right, All right now we're going to open it up. All right, it's open.
guys. So I hope you enjoyed those exhaust clips. I was able to do it in Sport Plus and also in Efficient. I actually think it sounds really good and efficient whenever you hit the button and it opens it up all the way. It does sound really good. I will say last night when I was driving home, when I had it in Sport Plus and had the exhaust valves all the way open, you do get a little bit of drone on the highway. Not if you're in eight gear, the drone kind of goes away. But if you're in like seven and six, you do, you do hear a little bit of drone with the stock exhaust with the exhaust flaps all the way open. It's not like intolerable. You turn the music up, you can't really hear it. But I did, that is something that I did notice. So it definitely makes me think that, yeah, really the regular exhaust, um, the stock, the way they, the way that BMW controls the exhaust valves, um, isn't, it isn't all the way open. Just like what Keith said, stated in his video. Um, and I think you guys can definitely hear the difference too between the regular mode and then the exhaust being all the way open. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this exhaust valve controller from Dollar. I will be installing the exhaust actually right now. So the next video you'll see after this one will be the actual exhaust install and how we're going to go about doing that process, all right? So you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I drop that video, all right? Appreciate y'all watching. If you're interested in this valve controller, it'll be linked down below. All right, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.